How old is Nehal? Uh, he's 3.8. Yes. Okay. When did he start using screens to eat his food and meals? Around 1.5 years once he started. How many meals a day was he eating with screens? Four meals, all the four. Okay. So what is the current state now? Uh, it's come to one meal, uh, just screen. It's either in the morning or in the night. So there's no other screen time throughout the day. Wow. And he's listening to a lot of music. Give a brief about Nehal's meal time, his feeding skills before feeding therapy. Um, so uh, he never would chew any food. So it was very difficult for me to, you know, uh, so obviously when you chew food, you get a lot of nutrients. That's that's what we've all been told. So uh, any kind of consistency, I give him a chapati, broken chapati with a curd, a dal, or anything, he would just swallow it. So that was all before the feeding therapy. Once I started feeding therapy in dimensions, uh, he started learning to chew here and he started keeping a few foods comfortably on the sides. He used to always chew on the front of his teeth. Uh, uh, there's a lot of things that's changed. Now he prefers to pick up food. That was one big thing. He had juice out of a tetra pack of uh, things. That was one more new thing that he learned. So, so what did you do to reduce the screen time? Uh, once feeding. I got to understand that he is able to process and understand things so I took a, a day decision that you know let's try this and I stopped turned on TV and I put Alexa music for him he was very much comfort just the, there was one or two minutes the tantrum that he started and then he was very comfortable to eat lunch with me and then the milk he started he's never had milk on his own I had used different techniques now he drinks milk on his own cold milk with a straw and he's very comfortable to go, go ahead with that. Fantastic and uh, do you feel that uh, reducing screen time for eating has improved his chewing and eating skills? Yes, yes. He's uh, preferred to pick up food. He ate sweet for the first time. <laughs> for, for the first time he's eaten over to our uh, traditional sweet in South India. He ate that for the first time. He was comfortable to try new things. Um, he had kebab for the first time. And there are a lot of new things that he he himself picked up and wanted to try because of the this there's more concentration on what's going on the plate now. So what would you ask a mom who's struggling with screens and meal time? What would you ask her to do as a action to take? Um, look how your child is doing first. I mean, is he listening to you? Is he able to process and understand when you tell him no? We'll do this instead of that. The, when you give another option, they will understand. Is he in that point or is she or in that point? At that point, maybe except for the screen, you can give him something that is his favorite, like a truck or music. For me, music is working a lot. Alexa has become my best friend. Can you now. highlight your decision making process that you, you will try and you know yeah. you will you will try you know you put your foot down and say okay today I'm gonna try, yeah. try. How, how do you make that decision maybe that can help a parent uh, make that decision as okay. well just one random day I've been hearing this from a lot of times just take a step just take a step and see how it's going to be if it's not going to be it's no harm but if you take a step it is going if it's there's a progress then there's no harm to try mm -hmm. so I just made it this, it's like falling in the pool. As soon as you fall in the pool, you know you have to hit your legs and hands and, and do things. It's just the same way. You have to try. What would you like to tell other parents who is watching this have video? Have patience. <laughs> I, am, I am still learning it, but yes, please do have patience. It is a long process, but it's a, a very happy process.